All right, this is Craig and Vicki. And we're going to go stay at the KOA in Horse Cave, Kentucky. Give you a little evaluation of this KOA. And we're going to do Kentucky stuff for the next couple of days. So let's go check in. Let's go. Has it been real hot? There's your copy of the receipt your parking pass and your key. The name of our hearing is called Tingo Internet. And you just click on this name and a green box will come up. You click on that green box and you'll watch like a 10 second commercial. When it's finished, just click done and you'll be on the internet. But the office hours are from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time. That includes the jump portal, the swimming pool, and the club club. Okay. Uh, every day we pick up trash before 11 a.m. if you have it set up here in front of your cabin. And when the day of departure, check it out to find where the agency is. Okay. And we'll walk through here. Yeah. yeah. Um, can we get some firewood? Yes, sir. $10. $10. Thank you, sir. Do you have someone to bring that by? Yes, sir. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you, and y'all enjoy yourselves. Take a quick little walk through the camp store here at Horse Cave. Vicki, take us on a tour of our camping cabin at the Horse Cave, KOA, in Horse Cave, Kentucky. Begin with this is my view out the front, this expressway, but my view in oh, that hole in the screen. One light works. We have AC putting a chunk of plywood where a window used to be, but at least there's AC. This is the pool at the Horse Cave KOA in Horse Cave, Kentucky. Sun's in my eyes, so I'm squinting a little bit, but let's show you the pool. First impressions of the KOA in Horse Cave, Kentucky. It's a very small KOA. Um, looked far more impressive in, on the KOA website than it is once you're here. They don't have any of the two-room camping cabins here. They only have the one room and then the deluxe ones. And the deluxe ones are really expensive, I thought. We're night right next to a freeway, so you hear cars and trucks and stuff going by all the time. There's a little fishing pond back there where it's catch and release. And Vicky's going to go try her hand at that in a little bit. And there's like a playground for the kitties. And nice, clean restrooms and bathroom facilities. I'll show you that in a little bit. I think they got laundry, and that's it. There's no anything. There's no game room. There's none of that other stuff you find at KOAs. But here we are. Um, three nights. We'll have fun.
It is morning and the Vicky needs coffee. Apparently the office general store isn't open yet. I can see the sign is opens at 8, it's 7.30. So we'll make coffee the old fashioned way. We'll make it ourselves. Hi, this is the first time I'm gonna have to use the laundry facility at a KOA. It's really hot down here. I didn't pack enough shorts. So I wanna go do some laundry, might as well do some towels. So let's go check it out and let's see what the laundry facilities are like. And I might have to use Dawn detergent to wash my clothes, I'm not sure yet. Hi, we're gonna wash some clothes. And you know what, just for shits and giggles, let's do it in Dawn. Never done it before. We'll throw some towels in. Mmm, smells fruity. Oh, it really smells fruity. So as you can see, the ladies' restrooms are just like the men's restrooms. Been clean, hot showers. Next time you're here, you know what to expect. Thank you for watching. This is the men's room at the Horse K KOA. The only one they have. Many KOAs have more than one. They have multiple shower facilities around the property. There's only one here, but it's really nice. It's not bad, it's kept clean. It, you don't feel like you're in some nasty shared public space, though you are in a shared public space. Um, the showers are good, the water is hot. Looks like it's been remodeled recently. Nice light fixtures. Yay, Horse Cave KOA, thumbs up. In conclusion, we're going to talk about Horse Cave KOA in Horse Cave, Kentucky. First, its location. If you're here to do like the Mammoth Cave stuff, it's a great location. It's just a few miles down the road. It's just really close to the freeway though, so there's highway noise the entire time you're here. It's a small KOA, but it's a nice KOA. It's very well done. There's nothing fancy. Um, but they got like nice playgrounds for the kitties. They got one of them bouncy balloons. They have a fishing pond, which we never really got video of. They have like a little mini golf course, which we never got video of. Um, when we leave, we're going to go do a lap of the KOA on the way out so you can see exactly what this place is. They only have one of these camping cabins. One. One. It's a one-room cabin. We're glad we've got it. Uh, it was a nice place to say it's clean, it's well-maintained, the pool's nice. What do you want to add? You said it all. They have animals. Oh, and they got critters. Vicky loved the critters. You can go over and pet a horse and chickens and goat that gets out all the time or something but anyways horse cave koa not the best koa we've been to definitely not the worst but a very nice place if you're down in kentucky to do mammoth cave and you want to camp you got an rv you got a tent um, rv sites look really nice yeah the rv sites look really nice there's some pretty nice rigs in here um, they got some of the deluxe cabins with like two bedrooms and bathrooms and stuff we normally like to do the koa two bedroom cabin we're like koa cabin people but yeah, highly recommended. Yep. Come, come to Horse Cave KOA. You won't, you'll, it's nice. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We're gonna do a lap of the campground. See ya.